Hello YouTube. I want to say uh, my name is Pearl Robinson and today I'm going to be talking about daughters taking care or daughters as caregivers for the uh, dementia uh, mother, father, their, their parents. Daughters being Caregivers can be a good thing or it can be a bad thing. And the reason I say this is because daughters love their mothers and sons do too, but you know, I, I will talk about that on another uh, video. But mothers and daughters, when a daughter becomes sometimes the primary caretaker for the mother and so that kind of take her from the daughter the daughter role into the take charge caretaker uh, mode and sometimes that can not go so well because with you know with dementia there are all kinds of the different behaviors that you know that can affect the the, the mother and and I believe that the mother and the daughter relationship because uh, some mothers uh, mothers and fathers can get angry they can get agitated and and being a daughter, you know, you, you still have to have to maintain that, re, you know, that respect level, or even for any caregiver, but I'm talking about daughters now. Um, when the loved one you know, get a little agitated and some may yell and some may fight, you know, some may hit you, you know, as, as a daughter, what do you do? Do you hit back? Do you hit your mother back or your father back? What do you do to that? So that's why I said taking care as a daughter, taking care of your mother or your father could be a good thing or it could be a bad thing. Because the good thing is, you know, it's your parent, it's your mother, it's your father. And you're going to take care of them with love and respect. We, we, we want to do that. But... When the, the disease uh, or the sickness start, start, you know, progressing up, you know, they're, they're getting uh, worse off than they were in the beginning when you could, you know, maintain, you know, a good behavior and taking care of them. But the, uh, the sickness has now progressed and they're showing all kinds of symptoms, uh, anger, anxiety, they're, they're mad, they're aggravated with you. You know, they're, they're not eating, they're throwing actually temper tantrums. So, as a daughter, how, how do we handle this? How do we handle this? You know, still respecting our parents. As the Bible says, honor your mother and your father, that your days will be long upon the land. So, how do we, how do we separate the caregiver from the daughter, it's it's really really hard. You know, it's really really hard. And me with the, my mother having dementia, and there are six girls. There are six. There are six girls. My mother has six daughters, and we all uh, we all took a part in her in her care, caring before she went into the uh, the the nursing home which is, by the way, a really good nursing home, a really good nursing home. And I have a video uh, on, you know, making a decision to put your loved one in a nursing home. But before we uh, had to put her in a nursing home, due to her her uh, behaviors, I mean, she was a roamer. She uh, she was a busybody. You know, she would, uh, she would, she would go outside. Uh, without you know no one knowing uh, so her behavior was kind of getting out of hand and uh, she needed 24-hour care so we had to make the decision 
to uh, to put her into a nursing home. And as 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 her daughters, I can tell you all, we did a lot of crying, we did a lot of praying, we did a lot of disagreeing, because when you have six when you have six uh, daughters who love their mother, but we each have uh, different personalities and we each take care of our mother in a, a different way where, you know, I may think that, okay, well, you're not doing that right. And then you're not doing that right. You see where I'm going with this? So even if you if, if the, the mother or the father has more than one daughter, you know, they can clash sometimes. They can disagree sometimes. So there are pros and cons. Or there, are, there are good and bad things, you know, and that can happen in while taking care of uh, the loved one. And I'm talking about daughters, yeah, because we want to be daughters. We want to be daughters. And, and when we stepped into the caregiver's role, that puts us mm, as an, uh, uh, I guess, I want to say an, uh, an authority figure over our parents, which you know I don't want. I I, I didn't want that, you know. And I I try my best not to, you know, not to not to tick, see myself as an authority role, and 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 none of my sisters did. But being a caretaker, being being a caretaker, I'm sorry, you have to. You have to give orders sometimes. So, um, as a daughter, how can I give my mother orders? Amen. So, being a caretaker, a daughter and a caretaker, is it has its moments, you know, because when they're having sad times, when they're being sad, you want to cry because this is your mother or your father or, or your loved one. You you want to cry and all of that, but yet if you cry in front of them, you know, that, you know, can put them at another level. Where if you have a, a, a regular, you know, paid caregiver that you're paying to come in, you know, they're trained to, to handle these situations. But as... Daughters, it's, it's, it's kind of hard, well, it gets hard to separate the, the caregiver and then the daughter because we love our parents. So being a daughter, a caregiver, like I say, it has, it can be good or it can be bad. But as daughters, we want to take care of our parents. We want to do this, but sometimes, you know, we have our own families, uh, our husbands, our children, and we we kind of being pulled between your husband, whom you, you know, whom should be over mother, you know, according to according to scripture. I have to bring it back to scripture always, you know. So you have to take care of your husband, and then you have mom. Who says you know the Bible says honor your mom, your mother and your father. So you you sort of torn between two. So being a caretaker, a caretaker, excuse me, as a daughter, is it can get tough. It can wear you down. It can wear you out. So I encourage if if you are a daughter, if you're taking care of daughters. You are taking care of your loved one. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. We did it for mm, three or four years before we had to put her in, you know, uh, the, the nursing home because her 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 uh, behavior or her symptoms got kind of out of hand. Where you know where uh, she never was. She never was would hit us, but she, you know, she gets uh, where she 
like, you know, I'm the mother and you're the daughter. So my mother had that kind of, not that she was malicious with it or mean or anything, you know, but she knew that she was the mother and we are the daughter. And so if we, if we tell her, okay, mom, you know, you can't have this, your, your diet doesn't call for this, you know, you know, when she wanted, but we know she shouldn't have it. And then, and sometimes, you know, I'm, not, I'm just using uh, food as an example, that there are other things too, you know, where they want it. And we as daughters, we know they can't have it. But mothers can look at it as, as okay, I am the mother here and you are the daughter. You know, it's kind of like what I say, you know, so it can be difficult. It really can, but be encouraged, you know, if you're taking care of your mother, your father, or grandmother, grandfather, you're doing a wonderful job. Try to separate, and I mean try hard, so to separate uh, caregiver from the daughter or the granddaughter or, you know, the family member that's taking care of the, the person with dementia or, or Alzheimer's because it can, it can destroy a mother's and her daughter's relationship. And of course, uh, fathers and sons or fathers and daughters, but that's another topic that I'm going to be talking on. But uh, daughters, if you're out there, if you're listening and you're taking care of your, your mother, your father, uh, continue to respect them continue to pray and ask God to give you the strength to uh, endure um, where the disease is going, help you to be able to cope with it and continue to love and obey and honor your mother or your father because this is what God says to do. And when you trust God in all things, he's going to help you to endure. He's going to give you the patience uh, to cope with, with the, the sickness, he's going to help you. So we have to draw our strength from the Lord because he says um, that we can do all things through him. So um, without the Lord, I couldn't, I couldn't have uh, gotten through what I did with my mother when we were taking care of her from the home and uh, using the security, home security cameras, which I did a video on that one also. Uh, so, uh, daughters, it's tough. Know that you're not in it alone. God is there with you, and I am praying for you. We are, we are all in this together. We are all in this together. Amen, amen. So, daughters, and mothers and fathers have its pros and cons. Have, uh, have its good and bad. But I would pray that the, the good outweigh the bad. So now my mother's in a nursing home so we can be daughters again. We can be daughters again. Not the, 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 the caretaker, the, the giving the medicines and and fixing the food and all of that. She's being well, well taken care of and we thank God for that. So, like I said in another video, uh, putting our parents in a nursing home or uh, in a type facility could be a good thing, not necessarily a bad thing. So we pray about it, we uh, search out different homes, look at the, the reviews, the ratings, and, and Govern yourself accordingly. Pray about it. Amen. Amen. So that's what I have today. Uh, I'm going to be back and touch on uh, sons because uh, I do have a brother and, you know, his, you know, they're different. Of course, you know, when God created men, you know, they, they, they're different. They, they're going to handle things uh, different than, than the daughter's. That's just the way it is. The way it is. So I come back and and uh, perhaps record one on sons as caretakers, because there are a lot of a lot of men who are taking care of their mothers and fathers. 
And I said, God bless you. God give you strength to endure, especially sons with their mothers, because, you know, mothers and sons have a, a special bonding there. Y'all know uh, fathers and daughters and mothers and sons, and that's just kind of like the way it is. You know, so, so we will come back and, and uh, talk on that one also. But be encouraged. Know that uh, you can you can pray to separate the the daughter and the caregiver if you if you in both roles. Now, amen, amen. So if you like what I'm uh, talking about in my dementia videos and Alzheimer videos. Please, please, there is a uh, subscribe button right below. Hit subscribe and, and you can choose uh, to get videos on dementia and Alzheimer's. Get notified when I upload just those. Amen, amen. I really would appreciate it. And uh, thumbs up, uh, comment, and maybe share it. To God be the glory. So I thank you for watching. I hope this video uh, was encouraging to you that you learned something from it that you know what you're doing is a good thing we are taking care of our mothers and our fathers and and god blesses us for doing this god bless us for doing this but sometimes it may come to putting them in a facility where they can be taken care of long term because sometimes we give out going from one family to the other and there are some uh, there are some daughters and sons uh, who may not have uh, families that they can do it full time they can take care of their parents full time and, and that's a good thing I wish I could have done that I wish I could have done that but we couldn't we are pleased to where she's at and she's been well taken care of, and uh, she's been visited uh, every week, three and four times, you know. And and we uh, we call and we check on her, and she she's good, she's good. So uh, I don't think her her stages have changed much, but it has changed a little bit since she's been on uh, in the uh, the nursing home, because where we didn't want to put her on any type of medications, and I talked about that in a prior video. Uh, in the, the nursing homes, they're going to do what's best for the patient because they have doctors there. And if they have some, some habits where, you know, the caretaker cannot handle, um, like anxiety or, or their busy bodies, but they're going to try different medications and, and uh, give it to them and see what works for them. And... My mother has done really well to medication, and I thank God for that. Amen, amen. So again, thank you all for uh, for joining me, for watching the video. Join me uh, when I upload the next video on dementia. And if you want to be notified, click the subscribe and the bell. And this way you can be notified when I upload it. Uh, the videos I love seeing a new subscriber on a video that tells me that I'm doing something to help someone so if you if you appreciate what I'm doing uh, please subscribe to my channel I'll see you on the next video this is Pearl Robinson saying thanks for watching and bye bye